You've seen it in every war movie or tactical shooter game. The sniper, lying low in the distance, armed with a rifle that looks like it could double as a tent pole. The barrel is long, sleek, and almost absurdly extended compared to most other guns. It's not just for dramatic effect, there's actually a reason behind that design choice. Is it about power, range, accuracy? Or is it just one of those things the military never bothered to change? Today we're answering the question, why are sniper barrels so long? Stick around, because the answer's got everything from physics to ballistics to a little bit of history, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the heart of the matter, muzzle velocity. When a sniper pulls the trigger, the gunpowder inside the cartridge explodes, pushing the bullet down the barrel. The longer the barrel, the more time the expanding gas has to push on the bullet. And that extra time means more speed. More speed equals more range, and just as importantly, more accuracy. You want that bullet to leave the barrel at top speed, so it can reach its target before gravity and wind have too much time to mess with it. Think of it like this. If you flick a paper football across a table, it'll wobble and slow down quickly. But if you fire it out of a rubber band slingshot, it flies straight and fast. The longer barrel is like a longer slingshot, more energy behind the shot. Sniper rifles aren't meant for close quarters combat. They're precision instruments, built to hit targets at ridiculous distances, often over a kilometer away. At those ranges, every tiny variable matters. Wind speed, temperature, humidity, even the curvature of the earth. Having a longer barrel helps the shooter in two major ways. First, stability and direction. A longer barrel gives the bullet a more consistent pathway to follow. This helps it fly straighter once it exits the barrel. Second, higher velocity equals flatter trajectory. A faster bullet travels in a flatter arc. That means it drops less over long distances, which makes it easier to predict where it's going to land. Basically, if you want to play long-range darts with bullets, you want that barrel to be as helpful as possible. Now you might be wondering, if long barrels are so great, why don't all guns have them? Great question. Short-barreled guns, like pistols or carbines, are designed for mobility. You don't want to run through a building with a three-foot-long metal pipe sticking out in front of you. That's asking to bump into a wall, or worse. Also, in closer quarters, you don't need all that velocity. The distances are short, the targets are close, and you're not worried about bullet drop or wind drift. Speed and maneuverability become more important than extreme accuracy. So while a longer barrel gives you more precision, it's a trade-off with portability. That's why you don't see Navy SEALs clearing buildings with sniper rifles. Another benefit of a long barrel? It helps manage noise and muzzle flash. When a bullet leaves a short barrel, all the explosive gas behind it also escapes in a very sudden dramatic burst. That's what creates the loud bang and flash. With a longer barrel, more of that gas has already expanded and cooled by the time the bullet exits, making the shot a little quieter and the flash a bit smaller. Now, snipers still use suppressors and flash hiders, especially when stealth is critical, but a longer barrel gives those devices a head start. It's like trying to stop a sprinting kid. Easier to do if they've already started slowing down before they reach you. Sniper rifles aren't just about the barrel. They're part of a system. The scope, the bullet, and the barrel all work together. Scopes used for long-range shooting are designed to magnify faraway targets and provide aiming adjustments for wind and elevation. These scopes need a stable platform to be effective. 
A longer, heavier barrel adds stability, especially with bipods or sandbags. In other words, you don't just slap a giant scope onto a pistol and call it a sniper gun. You need a precise, steady base for that powerful optic, and a long barrel provides that. Let's talk about spin. Not political spin, literal bullet spin. Inside every rifle barrel is a pattern of spiral grooves called rifling. This causes the bullet to spin as it moves through the barrel, kind of like how a quarterback puts a spiral on a football. That spin stabilizes the bullet in flight, keeping it from tumbling end over end. Longer barrels allow more complete contact with the rifling giving the bullet a more consistent and controlled spin. That translates to better accuracy at longer distances. Imagine throwing a football with a perfect spiral versus a wobbly throw. That's the difference a well-rifled long barrel can make. Now, just because longer barrels have benefits doesn't mean you can just keep making them longer forever. There's a sweet spot. Eventually, the expanding gases inside the barrel stop adding velocity. After a certain length, depending on the caliber and powder used, the bullet won't get any faster and the extra barrel just becomes dead weight. In fact, if the barrel's too long, it might even slow the bullet slightly due to friction. Most modern sniper rifles strike a balance. For example, the M24, used by the U.S. Army, has a 24-inch barrel. The famous Barrett M82, a semi-auto anti-material sniper rifle, goes all the way up to 29 inches. So while long barrels help, snipers and manufacturers are constantly weighing the trade-off between range and practicality. A 5-foot long gun sounds cool, until you have to lug it up a mountain or through a city. So, to bring it all together, sniper barrels are long because they need to be. That extra length boosts muzzle velocity, flattens bullet trajectory, stabilizes spin, and works in sync with powerful optics. It's not about looking cool, though let's be honest, it does look cool. It's about physics, precision, and performance. The next time you see a sniper rifle in a game or movie, you'll know there's more going on than meets the eye. Behind that long barrel is over a century of engineering, experimentation, and some serious math. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.